It's your big accession day, Master. Did you forget? No. Okay. Well, it's just one of those warnings, I guess. But the night's just beginning. Oh, Yay. Yay. I made you a little something, and I hope you like it. Great. What's the matter with it? Happy accession day, <laughs> Mr. Relent. What? What's up with Colin him? Really gets into Colin it. Robinson, you can stop belly dancing. He's not even in the room. I know. This is just for me. It's easier for me. Another session day. Pitiful. On this day, hundreds of years ago, I rose to power in my country. Blah, 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 yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Just another milestone to celebrate for the rest of time. Believe it or don't believe it, baby, but vampire depression is the real fucking deal. The prospect of immortality can give some vampires the shits. They hate the idea of staring down life's eternal tunnel. What does it all mean? Nothing. When a vampire is depressed, the best treatment is to avoid them at all costs. Yeah. I'm 700 years old, and what have you got to show for it? I'm a fully grown vampire, and I still have roommates. I have no life partner. I have no living children. I have no one to share my dreams or my fears with. Hey, sorry, Nando. We were just... I just had to check something, um, Harry. I mean, once you see Colin Robinson belly dancing a few times, the magic kind of wears off. It doesn't matter that I'm an infinitely powerful being. It doesn't mean anything when you live for eternity. Everything loses its meaning when you live for eternity. In all the years I've known Andor, I've, I've never seen him like this. I think he might be having a midlife crisis. But he's immortal, so I guess it'd be more like a crisis crisis. <laughs> everyone, we have a very important vampire council duty that I'm afraid is even too hard for my absolutely amazing abilities. Someone hasn't paid their vampire council union fees in a while. Oh no! Oh, Sometimes no. it is nice to tiptoe in and remind Nandor that uh, he's a very important vampire with very important jobs to do and also collecting vampire council dues is basically vampire shit work. And I don't want to do it! But, you know, more the first thing that I want to raise my, my friend on. More the first so, part. So, who wants like, to tackle this one? Well, I don't know, my lady. Are you sure anyone here is out for this task? Oh, so, uh, yeah. Oh, no, my darling. I wouldn't be man enough. Hmm. Uh, oh. Uh, I, I would love to help you out, but I, too, fear I'm not... Uh, really for the last 11 years. Oh boy, Why do you think I've lived with shit. you this whole time? Can you please, please turn me into a vampire before you leave? So that after all these years, you and I both, both can be happy. <sighs> oh shit. Dear Mo, despite my cold, dead heart and your just okay personality. I've grown to have some affection for you. Just a little bit, but you know. And I for you. Well, obviously. A little bit, still. But vampirism is a curse. And I uh, care for you too much to burden you with that. So it weighs too heavily on my conscience. Oh, there's that smile. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of nice though. It was kind of nice, yeah. Tonight I am only a man. Try your face. You look like a pair of wet undies. As I can no longer fly, I will have a nice evening stroll to James. Just a human man crossing the street. Are you shitting me? You can't just walk out into the street like that. You have to look both ways. That's literally rule number one of being human. It's a bad start. What the fuck start. am I gonna do with this? I took off his beer. It's been about a month since. What's his name? Nando, come on, Laszlo. Sorry, yeah, since he buggered off. Uh, Nothing much has changed, name. though, to be honest. One thing that has changed, which is such a relief, is you don't have this constant soundtrack of weeping in the house the whole time. We don't miss that, do we? No. So I've moved into Nandor's room. Uh, it's taken me a while to get my scent on everything. Regular vampires have no gastric system. Energy vampires do to annoy those around them and mark their territory. It's beginning to feel like home. 
It's been kind of tough, honestly. You know, I've known Nandor for a long time, and now he's out of my life anymore. Didn't even need an address or anything. Just uh -uh. I mean, I guess I know oh, how yeah. it feels. All the times I left or quit, I just never thought that he'd be the one, you know, to leave. So, so. I'm just sorry that we couldn't make him happy. And I hope he's happy now. It's been one week since you looked at me. Got your head in the side of the tree. Five days since you laughed at me. Saying, "Here, here, I'm coming back to me." Three days since I've been here. Look at you, damn it! I found out how crazy it is. I mean, he's been here a month. Yeah. I forgot how exciting it was to live like a human. Oh, wait, is that he? They're just cutting out the thread of the character. Women act like you don't understand. Yes, Nandy. Yeah, it seems to me that this Uncle Sam is bleeding us dry. Maybe we should bleed him. No, 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 no. We go off steam with Nandy. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe an evening bike ride. All right, let's move on to house and Every moment is precious. Come on, Nandy. We rip out mm. our things every night. Oh, every night. Oh, when they grow back. Going back. They always go back in the morning. But James and she is working on the way to make it permanent. Because we are forbidden to use our vampiric powers or strength in any way. Life is constantly <laughs> surprising. I have lost 123 straight games of cornhole, and I have never felt more alive. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Very human. Very human. James Very taught human. me so much. This is especially important for the women when you're an expert. Of course, you about something and a man is explaining it to you. Strained eyes, but really big smile. And then one week to look at me. Dr. Hunter, the man's trying to explain something. Who knew that living as a human would reignite the zeal for life I thought to be long dormant? Electric. She has changed my life. Oh, yeah. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably check in on him. Not in a weird way. Like, I don't need to check in on people. I just want to make sure he's okay because if something wasn't okay and I didn't do anything about it, then I couldn't live with myself. So, as a good friend, I'm going to look into what he's doing without him knowing. I'm really worried about him. He's out there in the real world and it could be dangerous, you know? <sighs> like, what if he's in real big trouble? Whoa! What are you doing in my room? Nandro must have left some kind of clue somewhere telling us where he's at or where he's going. Like, maybe this pamphlet that's just sitting out in the open? In case any of you dumb idiot assholes care, assholes with one S, uh, where I've gone, it's here. Yeah. With a net. That's how old it was. You may want to wash your hands. That has a full room of butt wind on it. You want to get butt wind? Or maybe you do, I don't know. I don't really give a shit. You don't really give a shit. Jane says that she has never seen anyone as dedicated to our way of life before. Oh my god, look at the hair! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she has given me a promotion of sorts. I am now a. I'm just Guillermo. What the fuck are you doing here, Guillermo? Um, um, uh, just... I don't know him. Just working on my fitness. Hmm? Check his bags! Well, that's no, my bags. Check. You can't do that. That's my property. If you didn't, tell me you didn't. It's just like towels. Oh, what's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how it is. 
how he looks like. I wasn't gonna. That was just okay. Oh, oh, oh. Get, oh. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. My it's children, a... my fellow human children, we have been infiltrated. No. And if you no. is here to ruin us, he is here to kill us and our dreams. He must not leave here. He will bring more like him. What did you do? What? Cover your face! Uh, you have a cape for mayor, though. Mm -hmm. That was time to have him get it ready. It's been one week since you looked at me, cut into the side of the mangry, five days since you left the me. I know the whole fucking song. I think that's a pretty gosh darn human. That's Wouldn't pretty human. You know? Brainwash. Brainwash. Yeah, brainwash. brainwash. <laughs> and that's exactly what Jane warned us that the mm. non-believers would accuse us of. You've been brainwashed, but it's okay. Because we are going to deprogram you. Well, we will not stop to do that. Did go. you not think for a second? Listen to me. Did you ever consider for one moment that I might be happy for the first time in decades? Decades! That I found some way where I feel that I belong. That makes me feel useful and powerful in ways I've never felt. Never. Not in 700 years. Did you ever consider that? No. No. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get out of this car and I'm going to go and get the taxi or bus or subway or lift over and I'm going to go back to the <laughs> Uber I mean, they are teaching them to like get up to the times too mm -hmm. and all the shit When did you install silver or blind seatbelts in this little shit box? Sorry master, it's for your own good <laughs> Get your breath, boy. I think I did something really drastic. You pierced your pee-pee? No, but that's why you're pee-pee. You guys, tell us more about your pee-pee. You've never been so interested. Stop talking about pee-pee, okay? You've never been so interested. Okay, interested. Uh, yeah. okay just trust that what I did, I had to do, okay? Do you trust me? No. 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 Who the fuck is that? It's really not right. I don't even remember what it is. I'd say he's been brainwashed. Right, okay. Colin Robinson, go to the council library and see if there's any literature on the art of deprogramming. No, there's no need to do that, Colin Robinson, because I am not brainwashed. I am perfectly safe. I was just having fun with my new friends. That's uh, basically what Patricia Krenwinkel said. Open your mouth. Good lord, he's pulled his fangs out. No, 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 no. It's not, what do you think? You stay there, the old pal, and I'll go and find someone to mend that fucked up brain of yours. No, there's no need to do that. There's no. Oh, please. Come on. Get off! No! Oh, dang. <laughs> Yeah, man, 
burnt fuck up. <laughs> Cult, babe. Yeah, so we're gonna get rid of everybody. And we're gonna call it death. Alright. Back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. Run with me. This is Give me some more uh, recruits. Alright, it was episode 8 of what we do in the shadows and I thought that was an interesting episode there it got really good at the end with the action scenes on there before I was just going with it just being entertained on there to know what we were really doing and um so I really like the the, uh, the the fake the brainwashing vampires over there good good um co-star shout out to on um, the guest appearance for I can't remember her name but she was on a different world back in my day and um she did a great job on here faking the funk with the cult that she had going on. And I love Guillermo coming through with the action scene. That really worked for me on there. So, um, and I like Nandor having a different look too in this episode, which looked really good. So, um, it was a pretty entertaining episode. Um, so I think there's a couple things that really, I really liked about the episode. One, I think it's so real that vampires would get depressed. Like, I think that is like, yeah. makes so much sense. Like, the repetitiveness of doing the same shit year over mm -hmm. year after year after year. I thought it was just well written and made sense to me. It took me a minute to, re to realize, to recognize they were doing a cult theme though. I just thought it was like... A community of vampires just trying new stuff but once you could see how it was developing I was like oh now I see where it's going which again I thought was super smart and clever I also loved seeing Nandor like brainwashed I guess um, for one his look was so he looked younger he looked happier I thought he pulled it off he looked cute is essentially what Nandor looked this uh -huh. episode like he was cute um, and then like them all trying to pretend to be human. I thought especially even the class of um, teaching how to be human Like one of the tips was like how do you tip like at a restaurant, you know Like yeah. all these concepts and stuff that because you can clearly see with Nanda and, and Laszlo and them that they outside of Colin they don't even in, uh, engage with the outside world very much. They're nope. still very much stuck in their times. I mean, just based on their clothing alone. At least Colin's out and about and engaging with them mm -hmm. and has jobs and job. things like that. Yeah. Um, so I thought that was especially interesting too. And then seeing Guillermo coming through at the end to, to rescue him and like fight and how prepared he was with all of his tactics and tools, I thought was really cool. And I'm excited now to see uh, how this develops as far as if they're going to have another episode now trying to deprogram him. Because I didn't think he was essentially... I didn't, I didn't think he was essentially um, brainwashed, but it looks like that's where they're going. And then having it end with it was, in fact, a cult, and she just killed them all off was crazy as heck. Um, but I thought it was a really entertaining episode. Yep. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction for What We Do in the Shadows, Season 3, Episode 8. And until next time.